Stop listening to what people say, all right? That's the title of this video. Stop listening to what people say. Only watch what they do. You know, so many people, they'll just tell you whatever they think that you want to hear. And if you're not careful, you're going to buy into it. Because, uh, you know, this idea that... Um, that dishonest people will not look you in the eye. That's bullshit. That's just, that's just bullshit. Uh, some of the most honest people I know, uh, will never look you in the eye. Um, they just, they just don't feel comfortable looking you in the eye. Uh, I don't feel comfortable looking people in the eye. I'm very, just, I, I just, I never, I never have. Uh, some of the most honest people I know are the same way. And some of the biggest crooks out there. They'll look you straight in the eye and they'll just make you believe that, uh, that, that they're the greatest in the world. So, I, I, look, after a while, you just stop listening to what people say. You, um, I love this quote that just says, your actions are speaking so loud, I can't hear a damn word you're saying. I just, I just love that quote because that's, uh, that's really how it is for, uh, for, for a lot of people. So be very careful. The only people you can really trust for sure are people that you've been around for a long time and, um, and you've seen how they perform when times go bad. You have to go through a bunch of time, a bunch of bad times with people to really get a handle on who they are, what they're all about and, and look at their behavior over a consistent period of time. Other than that, trust your own mother, I hope. I hope we can all trust our parents, uh, and, uh, and our spouses. I hope we can trust them. And, uh, but watch what people do. Don't just listen to what they say. And, and, uh, people will manipulate you all day long. They'll just, they'll just, uh, now some people call it selling or whatever. They'll try to put a spin on it, but, uh, you know, just watch people. Watch how they perform over a period of time. And when you find good people in your life, honest people, people that have your back, hold on to them. Don't let them go. You know, um, when it comes to honesty, uh, there are there are a small percentage of people that are just so honest that uh, they wouldn't steal a pencil from you. Um, and if they took a pencil, they'd feel bad about it. They'd give it back uh, or whatever. Maybe bring you two pencils back. There are other people that are just going to rob you blind every step of the way. Every time you got your back turned, they're going to be looking for ways to rip you off. As for the rest of the people, I don't know. Given the right situations at the right time, hey, look, be very careful. Be very careful. Um, hey, here's a great one I've heard recently, all right? There are some people out there. In fact, in fact, a lot of people out there, I think, I, I hope I'm wrong, but I think a lot of people who... Uh, if they steal your wallet or they find your wallet and don't give it back, they'll feel really bad about it. They really will feel bad about it. There are plenty of other people who will steal your wallet and then help you find it. You know, they'll do everything possible to help you find it, you know, and then they'll feel bad because they didn't help you find it. There's still other people who will steal your wallet, take your money, help you find it, give it back to you because they found it for you. And then they'll ask for a reward. I'll never forget one one time. This is this is a funny funny true story. I've had hundreds of employees come and go over the years, and I had this uh, this one 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 employee. He uh, this is back when I was loaning money to everybody, giving money away or whatever. I was making money hand over fist. He borrows five hundred bucks from me. He had a great story. He needed the five hundred dollars, whatever. And then like a few days later, he gives me back the five hundred plus gives him back a little extra money. And just blew me away, you know. I, I wasn't expecting it back so fast. And after a while, I guess I wasn't expecting it back at all, really. But so he gives me back the money plus some and thanks me profusely. Then he comes after me a couple couple weeks later. I was going to say a couple days later, but it was a couple weeks later. And uh, now he wants to borrow a couple thousand dollars. And, uh, and hey, remember what he did last time? He paid me back real fast. I never heard from him again. He, he went on. He moved on. <laughs> You know, oh my God, I can tell you about all the times I've been lied to, ripped off, cheated, and uh, manipulated, but you can tell me all those sad stories too. Look, the, the main thing is they're not really that sad in the end. In the end, just let it go. People do things more for their reasons than yours, or they're, or they're, they're more for themselves than against you anyway. Don't take any of it personal, ever. Just be very careful. Be very wary. Um... Don't loan money to anybody. <laughs> Do not loan money to anybody.
especially uh, for business deals, don't do it. It'll it'll always come back and bite you in the end. Uh, um, hey, I hope something I've said here makes a difference. Uh, don't listen to what people say. Only watch what they do. And when you find good people in your life, people who are honest and have real integrity, and you know that because you go through a bunch of stuff with them, keep them. Uh, those people are rare. I wish I would. I wish they weren't that rare, but I think that they really are. At least in my life, they are. And call me cynical or sarcastic or whatever, but uh, when I find people that I can really count on that have my back and that that, that are there for me through the thick and thin, um, those are like the most valuable people in the world. When you find them in your life, hold on to them and uh, get rid of all the other people. You know, first sign of dishonesty or whatever, go with your gut. Um, I just got ripped off by, uh, by somebody who... Um, I knew, I knew the first time I met them that they weren't a good person. I knew that. But they had certain skills and abilities that I didn't have, and I stayed with them for a long time. But, uh, you know, in the end, they ripped me off for a lot of money. And, uh, and in the end, it's my fault. It's not their fault, really. In the end, it's my fault. I should, have, I should have known better. And you should, too. If you have dishonest people in your life, get rid of them as fast as you can. And um, anyway, hope you benefited from something here. Um, if so, reach out to me. I'm always looking for good joint venture business partners. Hey, there's somebody you can trust. A good joint venture business partner where no money is up front or whatever. They only make their money by helping you make money. And to the degree that that is true, because some joint venture business partners find all kinds of other ways to play games. But to the degree that that is true, that somebody only makes money by helping you make money, then you really know that for the most part you can trust them. Trust is a hard thing these days, but when you find people that you trust, hang on to them and, and do everything you can to earn other people's trust. People are always asking themselves, do I really, can I really trust this person? They're never saying that consciously, but unconsciously they are. And um, so do everything possible to prove to people that you are worthy of their trust. Hey, um, if you're looking for a way to make more money, that's why I shoot these videos because I'm looking for joint venture partners. I also hope to impart some some of my, um, whatever you want to call it, call it wisdom, if you will, uh, experience, strength, and hope. Uh, I hope to impart some of this onto my uh, viewers also. Thanks for watching this video. If you're looking for a way to make more money, reach out to me at heytj.com. That's H-E-Y-T-J.com, or send me an email at tickets at heytj.com. And start watching people. Start observing people. Don't listen to what they say. Watch what they do. See how their words and actions line up or don't line up. Um, that's all I got for you right now. Thank you for watching this video. Hope to hear from you, and bye for now.